I think it's time to intro our next guest. Okay. After that. Well, okay, thanks for sticking around with the uh, CE Week show here today. We're at the yes. CE Line Show. Exactly. Every year we come out, the guys drive all the way across the country, bring all our studio gear. I'm John P. And I am Callie Lewis, and I just get to fly here and have fun. Yeah, we do all the work. <laughs> she stands around and looks pretty. Speaking of people standing around looking pretty, we actually have, we have a Bree with guest. us here. <laughs> Hi, Bree, how are you? Hi, guys. <laughs> Okay. How's the show for you? Are it's you going fun? really well, actually. We're getting, um, we're doing actually a raffle today, so we're getting our sponsors to pull in people to our table, and we get to tell them about our product, and everybody's just fascinated with it. So it's great. Nice. It's going really well. So why is everybody fascinated with your products? Tell so, us about your product. So these are headphones by Myth Labs. We're a brand new headphone company. We just, uh, this is a startup company. We just came out, uh, put out our first press release as of January 2nd this year. Okay. Um, we These are the first personalizable modular headphones on the market. Oh, what does that mean? Really? That means that in terms of modularity, the speakers actually detach. Oh, look at that. They detach nice. from the headband. And the speakers are um, personalized and tailored to your music. So we have what we call a sonic signature technology. It's okay. patent pending. And we came out with a free application. It's iOS and Android compatible. It scans your music library for compression bit rate, determines the overall sound quality of your music, and it redirects you to the store. And based on the type of music you listen to, genres of music, and the overall sound quality, it tells you which speakers are going to be best for you to buy. Wow. Therefore, huh. opening up the consumer market for headphones up to everybody of all, all ages, whether you're an audiophile or you don't know the first thing about audio. OK, so here's the deal. Like, John and I listen to two completely different sets of music. He likes rap. I like like singer songwriter, you know, low keys kind she of stuff. She likes boring stuff. I like, I like good awesome stuff. stuff. <laughs> That's basically the way it goes. That argument is to be had later. But what I want to know now is because we listen to two very different things, um, the app that you have would tell us would tell me I need one particular type of uh, of headphones and him a completely different type. Is that what you're telling me? It's possible. The thing is. We've put out two speakers as of right now. We have more speakers. We've been in research and development for the last two and a half years. And we have other we have other speakers that aren't yet being distributed because we're a startup. Yep. So as of right now, they are genre specific, but the main focus is tailoring to sound quality. The okay. thing is there are there's a huge market, especially like college market, um, or just people that like to torrent their music, download their music um, for free or for cheap. A lot of times it's low quality know, music who files. Yeah, who would do that? I right, mean, nobody on. nobody does that. No, <laughs> absolutely not. But you get low quality files, even even it doesn't matter where you're getting it from, if it's a low quality file, the app is gonna scan your music library for that. It's gonna determine if you're listening to more low quality, more high quality music. And based on that, um, it's gonna recommend speakers that cater okay. to the sound okay. quality of your music. Got it. So if you're if you're like putting in DVDs and ripping them at the highest possible bit rates. It's going to recommend the higher Absolutely. It would ones. recommend our Eclipse, these guys right here. Oh, okay. So. And the in terms of you guys listen to totally different kinds of music, yes, it might recommend different types of speakers. Eclipse are great. They're very, they're versatile. They're our most versatile speakers. So they're great for all types of music, every genre of music. They have a wide, flat sound stage. That means that they're good um, mids, trebles, bass are all perfectly even. There's no major distortion coming from this very heavy bass, which is very popular right now. I won't say anything about brands. <laughs> it's a very popular thing. And that ends up distorting um, the mids and trebles in music. So this keeps that even. Um, another thing is that everything is passive technology, passive noise cancellation, passive drivers, everything. We like fewer, the fewer ingredients, the better. Just like at any restaurant, if there's too much on the menu, it's probably not very good to eat there, yep, right? Yep. So stainless steel and plastic for the myth band. Oh, look at Makes that. Makes them extremely flexible. Nice. Very durable. They're not going to break on you. OK. Metal drivers, all metal drivers. None of this other like fake stuff that they put in that's cheaper and uh, doesn't doesn't sound as good. So the, uh, the passive components are, are able to make it so that 
regardless of the sound quality of your music, it's going to bring the best out of your music. They're great for airplanes, they are still noise canceling, but you don't need batteries, you don't need wireless, none of that. It's just going to be the best for your music. And how much are they? So these retail for, um, the Eclipse retail for 170, I'm sorry, 260. 260, And okay. a Genesis retail for 170. Um, you can buy them individually, different myth bands, different colors, different speakers. Um, when we come out with more speakers, um, they'll be more genre specific. So I could basically mix and match colors as I Absolutely. want. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So the the bands are different colors. Right. Right. So right now we're we're selling on, online in our store and in major online marketplaces, BestBuy.com. Okay. Um, so we're trying to get into their stores. It's difficult because people can't actually hear them, but we have some people doing reviews and we've had a unanimous agreement that they're very good. <laughs> good. One thing awesome. that I, can I see those real quick? One yeah, thing that I find very interesting is the way they connect. Right. They don't really require um, all kinds of wires to connect. Dave, no. can you show them that? The, uh, the oh, this is a little dark here, but. Um, you see it's a the, twist. There's it's a connector like plate thing, right. okay? And then in here, you just, uh, once you screw that thing on, that if it'll see. focus for me, there we go. Then you screw it on and it makes contact. So you don't have to like connect wires or anything. Right. You just literally right. screw it on. And I think the most important thing about this product, what's new, what's new besides the personalization, besides the modularization, is that it's opening up to, to people that don't know about headphones because they're able to download this free application yeah. and decide and determine from there, discover what's good for them and what's going to be good for their music. Yeah. So. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming on. And, Absolutely. Thanks uh, for having me. Yeah. Good seeing, luck for the rest of the show. Of this. This thank is pretty you. Cool. Yep. Awesome. I like that.